What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here, and today I've got something very special for you guys. Uh, the first interview on the channel, and we are going to be talking to a, a very seasoned player. Uh, he plays in Realm 3 with SIC, or SIC, uh, and also in Realm 438 with ATW. Uh, he's he's going to share a lot of his uh, journey in War and Order, and also shed some light on how all players can benefit. So without further ado, I want to welcome Mr. Love. How you doing, Mr. Love? Thank you. Thank you for having me here. And I'm honored to be on your channel on the first interview. It's really all for me. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. So we're, I'm going to, I'm just going to start out with how did you come to know War and Order and kind of what brought you to the game and sort of how long have you been playing the game War and Order? Okay, so I have started to play the game uh, with my friend. We quit after that, after a while. I started playing uh, on April of 2016, started in R11, then moved on till I got to 438 and R3 where I am right now. Okay, okay. So, and I know you're playing, I know you're playing two realms. Um, are you dedicated yeah. full time to both realms or do you favor one over the other? I know that's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I try to split my time between both realms because uh, I'm an R5 in ATW and R4 and 6. So, I need to be more in the loop and everything. Gotcha. And try to help my alliances. So I try to split my time as much as I can. Very good. I know uh, that's uh, that's always a tough question when you play in two realms. Which one do you favor? So good answer. Um, <laughs> as far as as far as and you just talked about your roles that you you play in the alliances. Um, what roles have you had since you've been playing the game and and we know your current roles there, but how did you how did you get to those current roles? Well, in uh, ATW, I started as an R5 because we moved there from 062. But in R3, I joined late. I was only a member when I joined. I liked how things were there, so I dedicated more time to SIC, tried to help leading some events. That helped me to go up to where I am right now. Nice, nice. I know. I know. I've I've talked to a, I've talked to a lot of people, and they're the ones that directed me to to have you as my as my first interview. Um, so you've you've put your name out there, and, and and you've done some great things. And that's that's sort of what I'm gonna uh, be asking you now, because. I want everybody to kind of know. I, I know you can't give out some secrets because that's that's got to be held tight. Um, but as far as tips and tricks, I mean, you, you seem to be well respected in the game, and that's that's what brought me to uh, to bringing you on for my first interview. So, uh, can you can you explain kind of your your journey as far as uh, in the game of War and Order? What has been, what's been your journey? Has it always been something that you've wanted to to be in leadership position, or kind of kind of explain to uh, explain to us how you've gotten to where you are now? Okay, I started in R11 as a member at the start, but honestly, in the previous games, uh, I was a natural leader. I can just shut up and follow orders, you know. Right, right. I need to show the alliance what they have because i'm sure i can help i can help the alliance to be better with the help of the other leaders of course yeah. so i started in r11 in the kn alliance it was a fun ride and i got to know many great people there i truly enjoyed the game with them most of them i don't even have any contact with right now but i will never forget those memories because uh, it's just great to lose your troops and just spend the next two weeks to rebuild. Right. That was easy game. 
There you go. Yeah, Modern it's... Dordor was easy, not to talk right now. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely so... it's definitely gotten harder as the uh, as the years have gone yeah. on. That's for sure. Um, and the, if you could just uh, how is your how is your journey going now with with splitting the two alliances? And I know some events will coincide with one another. Um, how are you budgeting? You know, how is your journey taking you through that? Uh, first of all, I'm trying to. I'm the one setting the elite walls for both teams to make sure it doesn't cross each other, so I can commit to both. Oh, good. That good. helped me a lot. I would check out the times and make sure it doesn't cross, so I can be there for ATW and those people needed. Very nice. Um, Boy, it is not the same day because it's a different cycle, so that's helping as well. I ah. can play both actively. Usually I'm up almost 24 hours a day because I just can't sleep. It's it's so much fun to play both. <laughs> yeah, I was going to I was going to say void would probably be the biggest thing, but being off cycle is is a benefit. And uh yeah, I know um right now for our interview here, you're from Saudi Arabia, correct? Yeah, yeah. I got you. So just having the time to get together right now is pretty cool. So um, let me let me take us to our, our next question here. What is your favorite event? Everybody's got their favorite favorite thing. Some people like Void because they can go just balls to the wall and do what they have to do, kill people. You get the sacrifice troops. Or some people like to play it safe and, you know, do other events that you don't lose troops. What What is your favorite event? Okay, my favorite event uh, would be EW for sure, Elite Wars, because of how strategic it can be. It's not only about the numbers or the spenders you have on your team. You need to have a good plan, outsmart and expect uh, your opponent makes moves to win it. Yep. Uh, which can be very interesting and enjoyable event for me. It's not like uh, Void when the because if your uh, enemy just bubble up, you can't do anything about it. You can't have fun, you can't even hit anything. In EW, it's different. Yeah. There will always be a fight. Your uh, your opponent will be always hits on with you, so you can enjoy it more, I think. No, I, totally, I totally agree with you on that. The Elite Wars is, is, is structured to where it's a one-on-one, -on -one, alliance versus alliance, who's got really who's got the more power but who who knows how to use it and uh you hit you, you said it perfectly right there that 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 it, elite wars are one of my favorite events also uh just for that same reason um as far as now i know um i know elite you can't give out any secrets on elite war um i've been instructed not even to ask <laughs> um they know who they are <clears throat> many um but they they um as far as any, he would kill me if i tell you anything oh I, i'm sure he would i'm sure he would and he'd probably blow my line up, up crate like crazy um what is what's been your hardest task in war and order what's what's been the hardest thing that you've had to overcome as a player the hardest task was getting ATW to top 20 in AW ranks because of how new realm it is. Not compared to the other older realms, they have superior stats, angels count. It's, it gets almost impossible to even fight them sometimes because of how young the realm is. But we did make it yet. We did hold for a while, but not for now. We are back to 34 in ranks, but that was a great achievement, I think, and we definitely enjoyed it and love that. Absolutely. I can agree with you. I mean, as as of um, my alliance, KLS, right now, we're, we're entering that zone to where we're either going to make it or it's going to break us. And... Um, I would agree with you there. That that's a that's a good achievement to even get in the top fifty, let alone the top twenty. That's that's very impressive. Very very impressive. Uh, as far as and and that sort of leads me into the next question as well. So, what's what is you know what has been your <clears throat> personal worst moment 
in the in more in order. Okay, so the worst moment was in R two six two when our R five sold his castle to our enemies. It was a low move and ridiculous one. It just ended the, our game in two six two. The drama was real in there, and we had to just move on from that realm and jump to four three eight, where we established ATW. Okay, I got you. and I've I've seen a lot of of those kind of moves here lately. I don't know it's because I'm getting a lot more feedback in the community because of what I do in War and Order. Uh, but that I've seen that happen to um, to several different alliances and in, in several different realms now. And that's unfortunate. Yeah. I mean that really is. That you take a game to go ahead. There is another uh, worst moment uh, that happened when we found out uh, that the X6 R5 was involved in all the RNA hits in R3. RNA is uh, basically a pathetic group who, of players who bought bases in R3 to surprise, attack, or try to destroy SIG. I don't know if it's out of jealousy or the to be the English alliance in all. Right. After six fall down, but actually it only made six stronger and that reunited more than ever. It was a group player of different realms, fan of 38, CLS, and B of 96, uh, which merged uh, recently in 128. I still do have mad respect for many players in those alliances. Definitely not the ones who were involved in. Yeah, that, that, that is... Uh... That's just downright low, you know. That that's something that you're you're here to play a game for certain reasons, and and I get it. It's a war game. You want to use things to your advantage, but but certain things are are really just uncalled for, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say to it. People that do that obviously have one thing in mind, and and to take advantage of that is that's where it it becomes a problem. What would you say that your best moments in War and Order are? Uh, one of the best moments would be absolutely winning both of the Invasions finals in the same day in RD and 438. It was a great and unforgettable day because both Realms worked hard for the win and made sure to achieve it. I remember I had to stay awake over 24 hours just to be able to play in both teams in a pages. That was a great day, to be honest. Great day. Yeah, that that's not only some dedication on your half, but to achieve two things like that in the same day, man, that's that's amazing. Another great moment would be when ATW won the championship. It was a tough event where we had to face much older realms who have better bases and stats. But with the work of the leaders and the strategy we used in that work, well, Actually, and we ended up winning one of the most important events. Very nice. Excellent, man. Yeah, I would say that would probably be, uh, hands down, my best moment as well, if I could achieve that. Best I've come in is our Realm Invasions last season two. We finished third, which isn't bad at all. Uh, but uh, to not be able to finish it was certainly one of my worst moments also. <laughs> but uh, thank you very much for that. One last moment would be the EWE won in SIG uh, right after we merged with DBR, which took SIG to another, a whole another level, to be honest. It became just way too strong. We won against one when they were a superpower and on top of EW ranks. That day was unforgettable as well because we achieved what we wanted. We made sure to win that EW. Very nice. And I, I know you've been around for a long time. Any other best moments? Any other moments that you would uh, count as another good moment for you? Another good moment for me would be, honestly, when we and on sick merge together and first, like, uh, make a super strong alliance because that alliance now can simply do whatever they want. They don't know the impossible. They can achieve whatever they want. And that's absolutely great to be a part of that team. Um, 
as as far as getting on to some tips i know like i said i can't get any elite war tips from you but do you have any yeah. do you have any tips out there for the seasoned vets uh people that have been playing in the game for a while uh any tips for the guys that have been guys and gals that have been playing for a while of course i mean the most important tip would be to not get cocky and make sure to send your rc out during point especially when not mobile because no one is untouchable i have seen many players with big power they thought they would never get hit but they were zero to me point absolutely i can uh i agree with that 100 percent uh in the cocky part too you see a lot of that and it's very humbling when somebody is uh zeroed or taken advantage of for basically running their mouth <laughs> uh, how about how about any tips for newer players out there guys guys or gals that are just starting out in the newer realms um what would be some really good tips or or some suggestions you can offer them the first tip would be the most important actually even though many people had to admit it is the most important which is farming having enough farms and resources to keep you going on builds uh and just not sit idle on bills. It would save you so much money actually and make your base so much stronger, get you to higher troop types uh, faster and you can dominate that time. Absolutely. I agree with that tip 100%. Having, I get that asked a lot on the channel. Um, people that just start out and they want to they wanna be in a, a Castle 34, Castle 35 or so on. And they're always asking that the farm situation is always a, a big question. Um, and you've got to start, you've got to always have the resources to do it. Um, anything, any other tips you'd like to give the new players out there? Yeah. Another tip would be building a solid account. It's not a good idea to go through castle level just to give it higher troop to you. Uh, you need to look to building the inside and outside buildings and tiles of your world. Uh, you need to have a very strong castle with the good gear and the right beast skills. I have seen many times T8 even meeting P9 because the stats are just better for T8. They have made a very strong castle compared to the T9 who just went through castle as fast as they can. Exactly. I mean, you got people that will speed up thinking i've got a bigger castle i'm going to dominate you and that's just not going to happen especially if you've got the you've got the right troops the right setup and the right tech yeah especially tech the war tech you need to do it as soon as possible in college absolutely absolutely and uh i got i really got one last question for you um what would you like to see in the future of war and order what uh, what direction or maybe ideas that you have for how War and Order can go in the future? Well, the most important thing I would like to see in the future, and we can all dream about it, uh, it's the lag. That's been happening for a long time now. Camel would just start pushing the updates back to back to work better on the servers or something. I mean, the player would appreciate it more than anything, to be honest. Another thing, uh, I would like to see more EA, Elite Adventure levels, uh, Royal Challenge levels, monsters, and to slow down a bit the update because it's becoming a way to play game. At this rate, I think the run sprinters will quit soon. That, uh, that hit it right on the head, man. That's, that's, that's how exactly how I think. And I think you're spot on with how a lot of other players think out there because um, they do have a great game and keeping it to where everybody can can enjoy that and not just putting out things to where people that spend more money, you know, can jump ahead of everybody else. And um, yeah, good answer, man. I, I, I'm right there with you on that one. One hundred percent. 
before before I wrap this up with you, though, is there, is there anything else that you'd like to say to the War and Order community, uh, people from your alliances, whatever you'd like to say? I'd like to end it with that because uh, I have a lot of respect for you like as a player. To take this as a chance to thank absolutely all ATW members. They have followed me across many accounts. They are a great bunch of people, extremely loyal. I couldn't ask for better players to play with or lead, to be honest. It's a deeply rooted friendship, and I'm proud of what I will call a family, because that's how it feels, or how much time we all spend together. And I would like to specifically thank Taiba. She has been uh, my best friend in all this journey. Since R11, she has followed me all this time. I would like to thank uh, my co-leader, Savage, for all he has been doing for the Alliance. He's an awesome leader, for, for sure, with a great knowledge of the game. I also want to thank the Serial Killer and all the leaders for their awesome work they have been doing. They have been doing, actually, so much for ATW. Their commitment uh, uh, is just unreal sometimes. They would do anything to make sure everyone is having fun and be as competitive as the Alliance wish. I'm just grateful for being in such a great alliance with them and seeing people in it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, you hit it on the head when you said, I, like a family. It's like a family, and isn't I would it? like to absolutely thank all of SIG members. Especially Lady Nizzi, she is probably one of the best leaders I have been working with. She is so emotional about the team and does for sick a lot more than anyone else would even imagine. She kept us going together in our down and bad times. She just kept us going, you know. Baron and Minnie and all of the other leaders definitely had big influence in that. And where sick it is today. I want to thank them and thank all of SIC members again for all the great work they have been doing for the team. Very good, very good, man. It's it's been it's been a pleasure and an honor to talk to you. Um, I I hope uh, we can continue our friendship here. I know you're you're part of a chat group that I have, um, and I hope your influence can bleed on to these other players that are just starting. And the players that have been around for a long time. It's it's been such a pleasure having you here today with me. Thank you, thank you for having me here, and thanks again for being this interview. That seriously means a lot to me. Well, I appreciate it, and like I said, I I wouldn't have anybody else first, man. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, once again, this is Mr. Love. He plays in Realm Three with Sick and Realm Four Thirty Eight with ATW. Thanks again, Mr. Love, and we will see you in the future. Once again, a big thank you to Mr. Love and taking care of setting aside some time for us to get to talk to Mr. Love, get to know him, learn his ups and downs, and learn how he succeeded in the game of War and Order. Uh, once again, thank you, Mr. Love. It's been an honor. And I am glad to have had the opportunity and also to kick off the interviews on the channel. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And as always, if you guys like the video, smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, y'all keep gaming and I'll see you in the next one.